Hi, welcome back. This is Ron Jordan over at RJ Lang Sales coming at you with a FLIR Thermal Studio Pro tutorial. Today we are going to talk about how to take the template that you have been using, the table that you've created inside of your camera, and how to import that in through a TCF file into FLIR Thermal Studio Pro to use in your reporting software. So what you'll do is you'll need to first either create a template or um, adjust a, a template that you're currently using. So under reporting, actually we'll create a new reporting template. Actually, let me just go back into reporting. X out of this. So go in here and thermal photo details. This is the one I've been using. Go into right click, go into edit. Now I want to add that TCF file. I need to make room for it. So I'm just gonna drag this down. And this is kind of where I wanna put it. Now to get that TCF file, you will go into document properties, text annotation templates. You have to import from TCF and then you can browse through uh, your, your files and you'll be able to then find your TCF report. Now, I've already imported this one, text table for FLIR thermal cameras. Um, you can add, delete, whatever you want to on there. But it's very important that you import this first. So you go in here, go into tools, text annotation template, import from TCF, and then it'll go in there. And then what you'll do is figure out where you want the, the document property to go. So that table that you've created, you go into predefined, and then you'll go into text annotations. And this thing keeps going up here. I'm not sure why, but you can drag it wherever you need to. So I'm gonna drag it down to where I want it. Okay. And then that's inside of there. And that's it. That's how you get that to come over. So we will go over and hit save. Go to library. Uh, let's just go over here. We will add selected to report. Go over into the one that we were using. So select that. Would you like to create a new report? Yes. And now double click on the image. Oh, delete those. And you see all that text annotation information is there. I hit OK, I hit save, close, and now it's all inside. Now, that's with, that's with an image that I didn't have any information um, currently. So I had to go inside of the image and then add that information. So the text annotation, import text annotation template, and there it was. Um, and then all of your text annotation templates will be right here. So all those tables that you have, hit OK. I always hit save, then close, and all of that information will populate down here. All right, guys, I hope that helped you. Feel free to leave a comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. And again, keep throwing it at me um, so I can know what you guys are having questions about and uh, make more videos for you. Hopefully streamline your process and make things a little more uh, easier to use uh, Flitter Thermal Studio Pro. Those of you who have been historically with us and are transitioning right now from, um, from Flitter Tools over to Flitter Thermal Studio Pro, uh, a lot of it's similar, but there is still some of it that is very different, uh, this being one of those. So thanks, guys. Have a great day. Again, Ron Jordan over at RJ Lang Sales. Thanks. Bye.